Brothers and sisters of the celestial energy, brother wisdom, what's going on, guys? Um, you know, the earlier message we uh, briefly talked about how when we, the, you know, the 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 science behind building and nature and our planet, we briefly talked about how when we build. We change the chemistry of um, the atmosphere. And we talked about this once before in a message previously some time ago. There's a lot of messages, so my goodness. I probably have to go through all of them just to find that one message. But um, when you look at the sun... And the sun comes out in the middle from from the early morning and you feel like a little coolness is in the atmosphere. And then um, as it gets to midday, you'll notice um, that the temperature is starting to rise. And then um, by the time that you know, the the deep into the midday, how it comes that it is like really hot. And just that sun being in the sky changed the entire chemistry of the atmosphere. Okay. But let's look at the moon. The moon changes the chemistry of the atmosphere as well. Late at night. And you feel an extremely high level of energy. It is the moon that has changed the atmosphere. And literally brought things into a new perspective and a new balance. The moon changes the um, magnetic fields of the atmosphere all right the moon raises the magnetic energy of the atmosphere bringing it to a a a completely different type of atmospheric pressure okay so when we're talking about the chemistry we're talking about chemistry we're talking about you know the resources and elements and organisms that are able to re um, shape the molecular structure of the atmosphere, otherwise known as the chemistry. So um, that was one brother did a video. I, you know, I I, I went and um, and and um, made a comment on his video, but he was talking about he was saying, you know, brother Remedy dropping. You know, basically you say I was dropping jewels and waking people up. And he said, we're talking about building. And he says he's ready for war. And, you know, one thing I commented on the section, I say, you know, you have to keep in mind that building is all about changing the atmosphere. All right. That's what building is all about. Changing the atmosphere. Because when you complete a structure it's no longer just a structure it's an organism and this organism is pumping out extremely high levels of energy and these high levels of energy are able to reshape the atmosphere of where we are like for instance just in that area where um, those pyramids were put there was once a lot of crime, there was once a lot of shooting, there was once a lot of fighting, all kind of things. Since those pyramids have been put there, the crime rate has literally dropped, okay? What happened? That pyramid structure, the crystals, the metals, the minerals, the, um, what else that's, that's, that's in there? The um, 
granite stones that's that's in there the orgone at the very top of them all that energy changed the the, the chemistry in the atmosphere which causes our people to become more balanced and not so aggressive because we have to remember that our enemies want us to be in aggressive state so that they can use us but when we're in a balanced state our enemies cannot use us because we are um because we're in tune, we become in tune to self. And that's the that's one of the main key points is balance. Becoming in tune to self. The knowledge of self which is extremely, extremely important. Alright? Now we look at the 5G. Let's just look at the 5G per se. In areas where the 5G was put up, what happened? People became violent. People became untrustworthy. People became, um, what's the word for it? Um, paranoid. Uh, people also became sickly. All right. All types of sicknesses happen as um, the 5G was set up. Now, what did that 5G do? It changed the chemistry of the atmosphere. All right. So what we build and what we create literally reshapes the molecular structure of the atmosphere. And the molecular structure is nothing but the chemistry. It can be for the better or it can be for the worse. And our enemies have made these things for the worse. So therefore, it is best that we begin to build. That's why we say we got to build, brothers, you know. When we first started talking about this, a lot of brothers and sisters didn't understand that. So they were like, you know, we don't understand why we got to build, why we got to do this, you know. Why can't we just link into this power? Why can't we just link it? Because you got to understand, when our ancestors, when our early ancestors, you know, and many of us were the ancestors in the past lives, when we had all those abilities and all those powers, we had a system, and it was an organ-based system, and it was also other uh, systems that we had that allowed us to freely do things uh, on a celestial level that cannot be done uh, per se on just a, a mere physical level, okay? So we had the different structures. We had the orgone. We had the pyramids. We had the towers. We had the temples. We had the the totem poles that we had, which were the statues. We had the gold and the copper and the diamond and silver and the quartz and the rubies and the emeralds and we had all that. We had all that. All right, and we created great and powerful structures and these structures sent energy into the atmosphere all right and therefore our chemistry because you know the atmosphere deals that deals a lot with your chemistry that's why you know these um saxons you know they love trying to make it cold because what happens when it's cold you want to sleep you want to lay down and just sleep why is that? Because the atmosphere of chemistry has changed. You know, it's not so much of making it cold. It's all about changing the chemistry of the atmosphere. That's what it's all about. So our building and creating, going deep, deep, deep within ourselves and realizing that we can be extremely complex in everything. The structures that we build release um, something like a pheromone into the atmosphere, which literally changes the chemistry, or uh, like I said, it changes the molecular structure of the atmosphere, which is the chemistry of the atmosphere, and bring things 
more into the favor of us. And this is why building is important. This is why building is extremely important. Because now what we're doing and what we're understanding is that we have to reshape the atmosphere that is necessary for us. So you can have a whole community and you have structures all over those all over those communities, pyramids and all kind of other things. And your enemies, these Saxons, will literally not come in the area because they know that the chemistry is not the same as the chemistry in other neighborhoods. All right. So our structures literally reshape the chemistry of the atmosphere and bring things in our favor. If you could just imagine the structures when they said there were hundreds of thousands of structures on this land, this land, Atlantis, that they call America, or they call North America, from Canada all the way down to the Panamanian Canal, we had structures. When they said hundreds of thousands of structures, they said hundreds of thousands, which means that that's more than a hundred thousand which means that we we more than likely we could have had more so like a quarter million structures from coast to coast. And these structures literally um, changed or, or, or basically created the atmosphere that was necessary or conducive to the type of life that we had to live. Okay? So it's important, brothers and sisters, that we understand, that we understand, that we overstand the science behind building, which is because we change. We change. And why do we change? Because we reshaped the atmosphere. And why did, how did we reshape the atmosphere? Because we began to build structures of massive proportions, the sigils, the sigils and you you create a, a structure of a sigil and you put it out there all right you put it out there in the atmosphere and what happens things begin to change see it is, it's, this is this is how things work this is how the whole entire system work this is the system that we have brothers and sisters and the atmosphere was different, but when they, when these inorganic beings destroyed our structures, destroyed our tree of life, the atmosphere changed and things were no longer in our favor, but we were still fighting. And this is something that they couldn't stop. And this is why they tried to make peace with us and offer us this bullshit ass religion with some Jesus and Holy Mary and all this other bullshit. They they offered us that garbage ass bullshit and then we accepted it and went into a deep sleep and that was a spell that they put over us. But then, you know, soon thereafter, well, way far there, way far, far, far away from that point, we d decided to, to awake and we had, we had awakened and the energy, the energies around us awakened, you know, our soul. So, you know, that's the thing about it. Even the energies in this, in this, in the, in the atmosphere, all this plasma energy is coming from our sun, from our galactic sun, all that plasma energy and all that, um, um, ether and, and the dark energy and the dark matter that's all throughout the atmosphere changes the chemistry but those structures that we build because what do we say we you know wood produces kinetic energy wood produces dark energy wood produces dark matter wood is nothing but plasma energy itself and 
when you create these structures and you put sigils inside the wood, sigils are nothing but programs that you put inside there. And these these sigils, these programs are constantly pushing out the energy that you desire to go into the atmosphere and the entire chemistry of the atmosphere literally changes before our eyes. All right, brothers and sisters. Thought you might have needed that. All right. I thought you might have needed that. So this is something for you to think about. All right. I'll catch you guys later. You know the deal. All power to the multi chakra celestial angelic beings. May chaos reign through forever and ever and ever and ever. And remember, chaos brings change, not peace. Much power to you all.